Hey guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual. Welcome to my channel, The Real Love Survival. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the things that I've put together to protect me from this virus. As you know, more people around the world are getting infected and now it's become a pandemic. What would you do if you saw a tsunami coming? Would you just stand there and watch it? Or would you try and get to higher ground to get to safety? What would you do if a car was coming towards you? If you knew there was a fire coming your way, what would you do? Just stand around and wait for it to come to you? What would you do if your area was hit by a flood? Obviously, you'll try and get away from the area. Yeah, we can see there's on ongoing wars already out there and rumours of other wars going on out there. So there's a lot of things happening. We've seen more earthquakes the other day. An earthquake in Turkey, I believe. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of things going on around the world today. This is why we prep. We're hearing that the, the finance, the economics could fail, could collapse. We're hearing stories of people going to the supermarket, panic buying. You know, because, um, you know, they're going to get quarantined in their city. It's happening already in China. It's happening in Italy. Um, a lot of people are closing their borders. So this is why preppers are pre getting prepared. That's the whole point. To be ready for stuff that's coming our way. Like I said, if, you're, if you saw a tsunami coming, what would you do? Would you just stand there and wait for it to hit you? And, and, and so you drown or you, you, you get all your bones and your body broken? Or would you get to higher ground? Would you get away from the area? Obviously, you would try and get away from the area. These kind of things remind me of the scripture. We can actually see it happening in front of us. Matthew 24, end of day scenario, the book of Revelations. Check it out, guys and girls. You know, the things that are written in the Bible, we're actually seeing them. They're apocalyptic times, and we're seeing them in front of us. Every day, things are happening. More and more earthquakes, more and more wars, more and more floods more and more disease and pestilence. You know, like I was saying in my budgets bug out video, um, since then, look at the things that have happened. Uh, floods, um, more, more viruses spreading around the world. Now we can see how Noah felt when he was building the ark. Us preppers get a little bit of that feeling because people are laughing at us. Why are you preparing? Why are you putting your kits together? Why are you buying a rubber dinghy? Why are you buying virus kits? You know, they're laughing, ha ha ha. You know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? And we all know the story. Just like in Noah's time, he was warning the people, get on the ark, you know, get prepared for what is coming. They're laughing at him. They're carrying on their everyday stuff. Of course, when the floods came, everyone wanted to jump on the boat. But by that time, it is, it's too late. So yeah, us preppers are a bit like Noah. We're warning the people, we're telling the people to get ready, stock up on food, stock up on water, stock up on medical supplies, get yourself ready, prepare yourself, because there's a lot of things that are going to happen. So I know there's an, a loads of things happening around the world today. Those of you who saw my budget bug out video, I was talking about things that could be happening and why I put together a bug, a bug out bag. And as we can see since that video, we've got a virus going around the world. We've had floods in the UK, floods in other countries around the world. And this is why we prep. We prep. We're preppers because we, we can see things going on around the world. So many people are in denial. They say what's going on. They, they, could, they don't believe that it could happen here in the UK 
or there's people in America that don't believe that things can happen there. So today's video, just going to show you some kit that I put together to protect me from a virus. Just a basic kit, and um, it's you know I'm, I'm building up slowly but surely, adding things to it, taking things away from the kit. But I just want to show you today what I put together, um, just just for the virus and how I've been preparing myself for this for this oncoming pandemic. Take note guys and girls, open up your ears, open up your eyes, look at what's going on, don't just look at your own life, look at what's going on in the world, okay? We want you to be prepared, the whole point of many people on YouTube is to help people be prepared, they're giving their time, making videos, you know, putting kits together, giving people ideas, in the hope that other people will follow suit, and do the same you know we want you to be okay guys and girls spiritually physically it's about your soul as well how are you preparing for for the for death for the for, for, what, for what happens after here as well so these are many questions you know and the answers are there and um so yeah i'm just going to be covering a few things today question asking questions mainly like now and but re the real reason for this video is i'm going to show you my um, virus kit that I put together so stick around and I'll show you what I've been up to guys and girls see you in a sec in the United Kingdom has now reached 23. The novel coronavirus, which causes the COVID-19 disease, has spread to 61 countries and territories, with Qatar announcing its first case of COVID-19 today. In Iran, the government there says that 43 people have died from the virus and almost 600 have been infected. In South Korea, the number with the disease has risen by more than 800 in just one day. One of the 23 cases in the UK, a man from Surrey, has become the first person to be infected without leaving the country. So in this box, this is what I've been up to in the last few weeks, putting this kit together for the coronavirus. Um, condolences for people that have lost family members. I know that it's in England now. It's in the UK, spreading around the world fast. And I really wish you all well. Be careful, guys and girls out there. You know, remember to wash your hands, stay six feet apart from people and um, stay away from crowded areas, stock up on food and water and other essential items that you need for your house and uh, just be careful. We are coming through some bad times, like I was saying in the intro, um, a lot of things are happening out there more and more often. So basically, I've put a kit together for the virus and, you know, I'll show you what I've got in the box. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to show you the things that I keep in the box. Um, starting off right in the centre. I'm just going to use my pen just to show you the items. I've got a 3M 8835 medium mask. This is the FFP3 uh, N99, I believe. Quite good masks. Um, amazing thing is I've been looking online and the prices of these have gone right up. I picked up two of these for about £8 a couple of weeks ago and now I looked online and they're being sold for ridiculous prices. I've even seen one of these going for £30, one of these right here. Amazing how people can be profiteering from, from this, this, you know, this virus that's happening. So I've got a couple of these masks right here. I picked up these glasses right here, fantastic glasses. Basically, they're laboratory, uh, got a nice strap on the back. And the good thing about these, they seal your eyes right around the edge. It's got a seal. Okay, they're much better than the swimming goggles. And, you know, you've got, a, you know, more, more vision with these as well. Come with a nice strap. I picked these up for about £8. Very nice bit of kit. As you can see, the seal fits right nicely around your eyes so I picked up these for £8 
Okay, some really good gaffer tape, very handy if you want to seal off the cuffs of your laboratory suit, which I'll come to now. Got myself a Tyvek Classic Expert Cat3 Cat Superior Protection Type 5 6. Um, very good suits. I picked up a couple of those suits right here. Um, many of you may have seen these before. I picked up a couple of these quite a while back. The NBC Nuclear Biological Chemical Facelet. Some people laughed at me. They said they looked like a duck face on there. But they're coming in very handy now with this virus. So I had a couple of these already. Got some gloves. Okay. What I've been doing is making smaller kits and I'll show you that in a little while. So basically put a couple of pair of gloves in here. And actually what I've done uh, is one of the gloves just to show you. I picked up a whole box. Unicare Soft. Uh, Non-sterile. Ambidextrous single use gloves. You get a hundred in a box. I believe this was about six or seven pounds. Um, vinyl powder free. So that goes in the box as well. Another good thing to have for the box, I bought myself some antibiotic resistant MRSA Dettol multi-purpose cleaning wipes. Uh, it does say on there it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Not sure about viruses. It does actually say on there it kills viruses. Um, so I've got one of those as well in the box. I'm going to get a couple more of these. Hand sanitizer. Again, people were selling out fast. I went into a shop the other day. No hand sanitizer left in a few shops. So watch this space. I'm going to be doing a video on hand sanitizer soon in the near future. Okay. Always good to have tissues on you daily. So I've got a, quite a few pairs of packets of tissues. And to go along with the gloves, I've got myself a pair of um, thicker gloves. Really good bit of kit. Let's just put these other gloves down here. Okay, these are much better, much better gloves. Now I have been using these, so I'm going to get myself another couple of pairs of these gloves, kind of rubber material, really good bit of kit, good to also have in your box. Okay, let's just throw everything down here. Also, some alcohol wipes, always handy to have alcohol wipes. I've got a box of those somewhere underneath the glasses right here. Okay, moving on, got more hand sanitizer. Also, I've been putting hand sanitizer in these little bottles. You can pick up a packet of these bottles. Um, one pound will pick these up for men. Men's travel bo bottle bottle set. You get various different sizes of bottles in there, and you even get a little funnel in there as well. Tiny little funnel if you can see that in there. Okay, you can label it with whatever you want to put in there. Bleach. Hand sanitizer, dental, surface cleaner, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now, basic goggles. I've got some of those in the box. Always handy, just in case someone sneezes in your in your face. You've got some some protection there. Now they don't seal off the sides like these goggles do. These are fantastic. These goggles right here. Pick them up for eight pounds. If if any of you want to know anything that I've got here, where I got it from. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll, and I'll tell you where I've got the stuff from. Okay, moving on. Uh, this don't go in the box, this goes on my person. Basically in here I've got two pairs of sterile gloves. Uh, again, vinyl, powder free gloves. I keep a couple of pairs in here. Okay, nice little belt loop at the back. I picked up some boot covers. 
as you can see there fits nicely on your boots and the overalls will come down to about here I think somewhere about here so you should have a you know good protection on your feet because it can linger around on the floor this virus this coronavirus right and the back here in the box I have three packets of these these are plastic drop cloths um, okay moving forward now different types of masks I got I got from the surgical masks which they're not not very good FF1 something like that equivalent surgical mask now having something is better than better than nothing I suppose you could put that on and then put your scarf shamar over it, over that so it's double protection but what I'm going to show you is other different types of masks I got I've got this type it's got the metal clip at the top there to seal up your nose now these are probably equivalent I've got a few of these these are probably equivalent to the FFP1 something like that okay it's a bit pretty basic like the surgical masks I've got a packet of surgical masks and a good few of these as well very hard to find now masks again I showed you the 3M FFP3 so I've got a couple of those actually I've got about I've, I've had more of these in other kits from my bug out bags uh, but which I'll come to in a second okay and I picked up these type as well and I believe these are sort of equivalent to FFP2 quite basic again it's got the metal clip on the nose right um, like I was saying in my kits in my kits for my bug out bags you, you, some, of, some of you that have seen my bug out bag EDC get home bags I have um, some goggles I took them out of here just to quickly show you. Um, I've got the shatterproof goggles right there. These are the Global Vision. And they're shatterproof glasses that will give you some good protection. Now what I do, what I normally do in combination with these goggles, inside there I've got a mask. I won't take it out of the bag for now. But maybe you can see that. That's FFP3. So, I mean, before this virus started, I know a lot of us will probably have something in, have something in our kits. We had them already, uh, for, maybe for smoke and stuff like that. But also, we did have the N99 masks. So, I mean, one day I was caught out, quickly rushed to the hospital, had a little appointment, and I just stuck on a surgical mask. Anyway, like I was saying, I do have the shatterproof glasses in the pouch with the FFP3 face mask there so that would have been good for the virus and just across here in another one of my bug out bag kits I have a balaclava um, I have the lead, uh, excuse me another set of goggles in here and I do also have okay actually while I'm here let me just get it out Okay, so a nice little pouch, you can make yourself a little kit. Most of us guys who are doing bug out bags have usually got some good protection glasses. But as you can see in there I've got the FFP3 face mask, a good one already. Again, with my Lux opt, opt, optical um, goggles right there. So they, they're good for your eyes. They can, they're a bit better than the, the basic glasses so these fit more tightly across your face than the lead the Lux optical okay if you can see right there okay now inside there like I was saying I've got the FFP3 mask so some of us did have something for viruses which is good okay let me just stick that over there excuse my back for a second Moving on, what else do I keep in the box? Okay, recently I went and bought some of these cup type of bottles. Uh, you can put bleach in there, you can put fair alcohol in there, mix it up with some, some other stuff in there so you can make yourself hand, hand sanitizer or just a something to decontaminate yourself from when you've been out and about. 
Okay, so these are handy. I picked this bottle up for about a pound. Very handy. Um, obviously, I've got some more hand sanitizer. Always good to have. And some bacterial, act, uh, antibacterial hand wash. Now, I couldn't find hand sanitizer yesterday in the shops. Now, it's a good thing I've got these. Most of us, again, with the bug out bags, we have hand sanitizer. Okay. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit because I don't want the video to be too long. Okay, so I've covered this stuff right down here in the front. Um, just quickly, some Dettol Original Soap, handy to have. Some bleach, I'll have in the box as well. I've got in the box, excuse me. Very handy. Cleaning yourself down. Now, excuse my back, guys. I'm going to come over here quickly and get this Domestos spray. Multi-purpose cleaner, kills bacteria, viruses, and mold. Kills them dead, it says on there. Some face wipes I've got in the box. Uh, good face wipes, always keep yourself clean. Various different face wipes. Got a couple of these ones. Uh, I've got a couple of these ones as well, facial wipes, always good to have in, in your kits. Okay, and also I've got some of these towelettes here, just put some water on there. Okay, you might be able to put some alcohol cleaner on there as well and clean yourself. You can put bleach on these as well, clean your boots, clean other bits of your kit, your glasses and stuff like that. Now, everyday stuff, just in your house, some extra fairy liquid I've got in here as well. Just to, you know, I mean, you can't be clean enough these days, especially with this virus going around. Uh, I've got extra uh, zip seal bags as well in my box, just in case you want to make up some small little kits. Uh, like I was saying, in Ziploc bags, you can put a set of glasses, you can put a, a mask, and you could probably put some hand sanitizer in there as well. So you can make up your little kits with these Ziploc bags. So it's handy to have some extra Ziploc bags. Right, where are we now? Also, these little tiny Ziploc bags are handy as well for putting gloves in. Those of us that have got animals, remember our animals as well, okay? Um, I've got some of this stuff here. Basically, it's antibacterial dog shampoo. And this is kills bacteria, fungi, viruses, powerful and fast acting, effective deodorizer, including fox and badger smells, combats itchiness, soothes minor skin irritations, gentle on the skin. I use this for my dogs. Don't forget your dogs. Again, you can put some of this in one of these containers. And give your dog a spray down because this stuff here is really good. It costs about £18 a bottle, but you know, at the end of the day, my dogs are valuable to me. They're my companions, they're my friends, they're my family. So don't forget your, your dogs, guys. So I've also got one of these bottles in the box as well. Right, so we've been through the mask, we've been through the goggles. Okay, talking of goggles, got another pair of Bole Safety. These are the Bole Trekker. And they somewhat give you a good protection as well. They've got quite a good seal. And they also come with a good strap there to get them tight onto your eyes. Okay, to give you more protection. A couple of days ago I went to the store. Got myself some Dettol Pure, uh, Power and Pure Advance for kitchen. Kills 99% of bacteria. But also on the back here it says that it kills viruses as well. Okay. Now the writing's a bit small there, I don't know if you can pause it, perhaps, and you might be able to read it. Let me get a bit closer. So yeah, got my, picked up one of these bottles as well. Uh, excuse my back again. Now already at home, I have one of these running out. And this is also Dettol Surface Cleaner. Again, it states on the bottle here that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Okay, so I've been, I use this stuff a lot anyway. I've had, had been using this stuff for years. Fantastic bit of kit. Got one of those. And also the other day, 
right, excuse my back. Uh, the other day I picked up one of these extra value spray refills, half price, it was going in Robert Dias. Uh, picked this up for £2, believe it or not, 1,200 mils in there, so it's a litre and a quarter. Also, it states here, kills viruses and bacteria, kills 99.9% of bacteria and viruses, antibacterial. So this is a refill, so I could just refill my bottle at home. Try and buy the Eco Packs as well, okay, you've got your bottle at home, you just fill it up with this with this refill pack right here. Now, moving on. Just the normal bottle that you have, you can use. Fill it up with bleach, fill it up with whatever you want, a surface cleaner, multi-purpose cleaner. So you don't have, to, if you haven't got one of these, I've had, have had this bottle here for a couple of years now. Very handy, very good bottle. And I, I use that for spraying down my dogs, okay and whatever else you want to put in there as well okay so you can use a bottle it doesn't have to be a spray thing just use a bottle maybe you can get yourself a rag or a cloth or even just a wet wipe right now I've told you about the bleach I've got a good few bottles of these type of bleach indoors already I use bleach in my house I use it quite a lot to mop down the floors every day because my dogs go out they get dirty so you know I clean outside my flat as well on the the corridor outside my flat front door just to keep everything nice and clean so it's good to have loads of bleach now let me just check where I've, where I've got now I was showing you these um, boot covers very handy the good thing about these boot covers right I bought about uh, again off on the net I bought these a packet of a hundred and they do actually double up so you can wear it on your head okay now um, I'm not going to show you, I don't want you guys to laugh at me with one of those on my head. Actually, let me just quickly take this off from here. And perhaps I might be able to just get a little headshot with me wearing one. Alright guys, here we go. Don't laugh now. So here you go, it doubles up on your head as well. Alright, you've had your laugh. Okay, so... We've covered what I keep in the box. Obviously, you keep things in your house already. You've got your soaps, you've got your facial wipes, um, you've got your bleach, you've got your hand sanitizer, uh, antibacterial wash as well. Have a little idea. I've got this pouch. Let me just quickly dig it out from under there. I've got this pouch right here. I can make this a kit. For example, I'm only just going to do this really quickly guys, just to give you a little idea of the kind of stuff that you can do with this. Okay, a little pouch. You can squeeze one of these in there. You can put the goggles in there. Okay. And you can put the face mask in there. Okay. Right. And you can also stick some gloves in there if you want. You've got your hand sanitizer, you can stick one of them in there. I mean, you can fit other stuff in there if you want, or you can put the facelet in there. It's up to you. I basically, I'm just going to put one of these masks in there for now. So you can have a nice little kit, a good one, right here. Put it in your belt, put it in your backpack. Um, you know, hang it up on the outside, have it in the car. So you've always got a good little virus kit right here. Like I said, You've got your goggle case kit right here, and you can have one in a Ziploc bag. It's up to you how you want to do it, and remember to throw in some of those alcohol wipes as well. So in here I've got the, the hand sanitizer that I've put into a container myself. You can see the top right there. So yeah, just some ideas, guys and girls. I've stuck everything back in the box by just a few more things. Um, your bug out bag, goggle and face mask kit. Okay, that fit in here. It's a spare one, okay, this is the one I put in my kits, this is the one I've got in my kit at the moment, but just to show you that I could have that in the box, of course, I've got the, a really good kit ready to go straight away out of the box, so I don't have to dig around and find things, I know I've got a good kit right in here, so that's, that's in there as well, okay, something like that, 
Um, got another spare glasses right here from, from one of my kits. I whack them in there as well. Okay. Now a good thing to add, I picked up this little notepad from one of my scavenging videos. If you want to check out the scavenging videos, check go down into my videos and look out for the scavenging videos. Handy notebook, nice bright red so I can easily find it. And what I'll do is I'll whack that in here as well, just to make any notes if I want to because I'm building this kit, you know, there's things up, there's more things I want to get. I want to get some kind of plastic tray to put just outside my house, something like this. With, a, with uh, obviously longer walls on the side so I could put bleach, disinfect my shoes as I come home. Also, um, you know, I can use it for, 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 for the dogs as well, cleaning their feet as well. Obviously, I won't put bleach on their feet, but I'll use some of the, the dog shampoo in another tray. So I'm going to pick up another couple of plastic trays. Right, so yeah, like I was saying, I can squeeze that in there as well nicely. I can put my little pouch here in there as well so it's ready to go. Stick the book underneath there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this uh, packaging facelit um, with the NBC facelit showing nuclear biological chemical at the very top and what that will do is if I need to tell anybody to grab the box also don't forget a couple of pens, a little red marker and a little um, black marker right there as well, felt tip pen okay just to make notes and also if you want to write on it on, on the outside you can so basically I'm going to lock this now and it has the locking handles he says <laughs> there we go on that side and on that side and there we have it easily seen NBC facelit container I could actually get another bigger sticker on the outside but I should think you'll be able to see that and you'll know what that is okay so there we go guys I know it's not as quick as um, I wanted it to be but just just to give you some ideas um, just to protect yourselves it is disgusting that there's people out there that are making money from this you know like I was saying I've seen some of the masks that I paid four or five pound for I've seen them going for as much as 30 pounds an absolute disgrace also hand sanitizer and stuff like that excuse my back going for silly money and uh, so this is the kit that i put together All right thanks for watching the video be careful out there um, this is what i've been up to in the last few weeks um, prepared norseman he asked me where have i been what have i been up to this is what i've been up to guys and girls okay putting this kit together and uh, thanks for watching the video thumbs up from me if you want to leave any comments below if you've got any ideas any other suggestions what I should take out of this kit what I should leave in there like I was saying it is a work in progress um, you know I will be getting a better face mask a gas mask but what I've got in here is you know going to give me some some kind of protection against this virus like I was saying, take care of yourselves, guys and girls. Look forward to seeing you all in the next video. God bless you. Thumbs up. Take care, guys.